I have no idea how I just won. She blew bubbles, but she could also make fog. All right. I think I did one. One. I think I did one. I think I did win. Wait. Creative directors were married. It's done. But. But. But what about Scoot? And I was just lying there. Look at all these people that are related to each other. All these Joneses. Oh my gosh, his name is Gomer. Yeah, I don't know. I guess there was supposed to be a. A sequel. I just, I have no idea what was going on the last fight. I was just smearing the sticks around. They could be siblings, I guess. Yeah, I'm so happy I'll never have to see this game either. Ming Truganing, Alex Kitching, Adam Dobson, but he inflated the. Oh gosh, I don't even want to make an inflation jokes. <laughs> Thank you for playing this film. <laughs> I wonder if there is gonna be a second one. Probably not. They'll probably like kickstart it. Let's look. Let's read like their wiki or something. Copy. It's, that is not what I wanted. Okay, here's the. Dear Wikipedia readers, we have to take as much of the screen up as we can. Okay, this link is for hydrophobia. The game's engine, Hydro Engine. So there's two? Wait. God. We all gave three dollars. The fundraiser would be over an hour. Leave me alone. Okay, Hydrophobia Pure. Edits release. Okay, let me make myself bigger. That's important. Um. And it's released to receive poor reviews from the media outlets. I'm really surprised. Contention between the developer and some reviewers. Oh gosh, did they fight online? Criticism can be hard making games because you love games. Perhaps on occasion it's maybe seem a little defensive and disappointed. Hard can be a big virtue as well in need of being to Harsh feedback and reviews. Developers revisited core and gameplay mechanics and issues addressed. Uh we analyzed every single review of the game, break it down all the negative and positive. The game was... There was an update released, update to graphics, physical enhancements, remapped controls, overhauled camera, yeah that really improved. Uh, maps, gameplay, mechanics, HUD info, removal of shortening of dialogue and cutscenes. Game was also reduced from its original price. Uh, the, okay, so Prophecy is described as version 1.5 of the Xbox 360 version. Uh, has new levels. Approximately 70% of the game is new. The previous existing levels have been reworked. Wow. Yeah, okay, let's look at the reviews. 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 7 out of 10, okay, game zone. IGN, 8 out of 10, come on. Joystick, 3 out of 5. Xbox Magazine, 9 out of 10. Xbox Magazine UK, 8 out of 10. Team Xbox, 8.2 out of 10. Metacritic, 64 out of 100, 70 out of 100. Someone said it was just passable as a live arcade title. Wow. Wow. 
So the original version released in 2010, and then the new one was released the next year. Like, I'm looking at, look at the picture of it. Like, look up Hydrophobia, and there's a picture. And it looks so much better. The, the title, the game title thing. Looked so much better. What it really is. Alright. God, I don't want to listen to this anymore. Oh my gosh, it's still doing it. It never stopped. Alright, you know what? Just close window. Alright, let's look. What you guys are saying. Yeah, don't know what happened. If she died. Um, The wiki page didn't say if there's going to be a second one. I'll probably look it up later and maybe post on Twitter if there's actually going to be a second one. With all the drama, I doubt it. Because apparently it sounds like there's like major, major drama about it from the developers. So let's uninstall that. Uh, I'm here. My brows on fleek. My hair is just like a mess right now. I need it cut. Need a trim. So well, let, let's look at my games. I think for my, I like to take breaks in between finishing games. Um. So up the next thing I'll probably be streaming will probably be CS:GO, whatever that is, because you know it's a very busy time of the year. I'll try to get some sort of thing going with um. With people in my Steam group. No, I've, ne I've never organized something like that before. So I don't know how that'll turn out, but let's see. Let's see what's next. I'm not gonna play Hitman. Played I'm Alive. Played Insecticide. <laughs> Insurgency. I actually tried playing Insurgency and it almost crashed my computer. I thought about replaying LA Noir, but I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know if people want to see that. Played Lucius. Don't want to play Mafia on stream. Okay, so I have Max Payne. Metro 2033. Or Mirror's Edge. Which one would be best? What is my Steam group? Scroll down. Scroll down. And it should be there. I see how my boobs are. A one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, seven. Okay. Well, okay. Metro. Is Metro 2033 too long? Because I don't like to stream really long games because I feel like it just drags on and on and on and on and on. Uh. I'll probably look up how long uh, these games are and choose depending on that. Um, all right. Thank you guys for suffering with me <laughs> through this fucking game. This fucking game is pretty bad. Pretty bad. I am actually considering looking up on YouTube. Hopefully there's a let's play of the original released one that was panned so fucking much. I think that would be really funny to see because if, if it's a version I just played, was like 70% overhauled. I would be really interested to see how just how bad. Since that was already bad, I want to see just how bad the other one was. Like sometimes the water looked nice, but just like, oh, the end with the water tower, it just looked bad. And the, the, the bad guys just pop up out of nowhere and you know, they don't really hurt that much when they kill you, but, like, you die a lot anyway. Well, most of the time I was just being reckless. Wanted it over. My glove off for this. Yeah, it was really bad control. Like, I think they should have just... I, why couldn't it have been horror-themed? horror, horror -themed? That would have been so much better. Like, if you're naming... Your freaking game, Hydrophobia, let it be horror in the picture for the game. 
it looks like a horror game. Like, people have intense fear of the water and from being claustrophobic. Like, why not have a game where you're escaping a sinking ship? Like that one movie, you know, that got turned upside down and you have to escape? Like, that would be fucking rad. Like, you don't even need bad guys. Like, you're on a cruise. It got, it crashed. Or whatever, it starts sinking. It flips over. Because that would just be a cool other element. You know, it could be like the movie. And then you you have to like climb around. And it like tur turns dark. And like you have to find flashlights or whatever that actually work. That would be so rad. Is there a game like that? Probably not. That cracked class moment. God damn. Now you bring that up. I should put a pic because it's just black. Cover like everyone. Anyone's like bayonetta. I have a. What are you saying? I have an extremely like. Oleosis. Back. No, I don't have animal slippers on. No, I just have socks on. The game sucks. Oh. I guess I should go now. So there's really no game like that where you have to escape like something underwater. It's like, oh, here's another idea. Like, how about you like, you know, like underwater scuba diving? Yeah? And you you're in, you're in a cave. You know how okay, cuz that's really um it's really dangerous to go caving underwater. Like, that would be cool. Like, you get, like, you're with a group of people and, like, you get separated or something bad happens and everything fucks up and you guys are in a cave and you lost your lights and you got, like, tides moved you around or something and you're lost and you can't get out and you have to get out before your, like, air runs out. And there's, like, you know, like, maybe, maybe even a shark. I don't even think that would be needed. Like, that would be scary. There's a, there is a scuba diving simulator, but can you go in underwater caves? It's an alpha. Oh, scary. Oh yeah, I saw that scarps, scarps group thing. Not really a student. I just I think it would be nice to have something spooky like that. I'm just stumbling around in the dark. Like, Having to find like 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 imagine pitch dark pitch dark o ocean and you only have like those glow stick things and maybe a flashlight that would be spooky as all hell. That would really trigger anyone with the fear of the ocean and claustrophobia and and the dark. Okay, I'm gonna go now. It's ten thirty. Thank you for coming to my stream. Maybe the next game will be better. <laughs> You're done in 50 years to make a game for me, thanks. Years, oh gosh, I'll be in my 70s. <laughs> All right. My guys, I'm gonna... Stop streaming in any second.